Create your own font to apply to baselines and take advantage of the lettering features in ES4. This is achieved with the font creator element. The steps are, digitize your shapes using your favorite column tool. My preference is column A, which creates beautiful turning columns of satin. Once the shape has been created, with it selected, go to the object menu and select create a letter. First you will have to create a name for the new font set. And nominate the default letter spacing. Then choose the closest join for the default join type. Now give your letter a name and a reference height. I have already sized the artwork so the capital letters are 10mm high. This next step is most important, digitizing the baseline which must be constant for all letters. The second click establishes the space width of the letter, so the spacing we said earlier can be measured. Repeat the process for each letter. Notice the baseline for C is along the grid line, the same as for the letter S. Take care to digitize in the correct sequence. For example, the lowercase r, we want the right hand stroke to appear as if it's been stitched first. And we want the beginning of that stroke to be covered by the left hand vertical stroke. So create the right hand curve first, followed by the left hand vertical. Repeat the previous process to create the letter. This particular font stitches beautifully but would never work as a true type conversion with all the nuances and jaggedy edges of each of the columns. It's necessary to digitize each letter to get the best result with the letter shapes. Once all the letters have been created, we are now in a position to adjust and save our kerning values and apply any of the 10 baselines. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed another great feature from Embroidery Studio E4.